A blessed Lenten Sunday, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Pathways of Hope, Sunday Gospel Reflection on the Gospel of John 3, 14 to 21. I'm Aldem Salvania. And the context of this passage comes at the beginning of chapter 3. That there was this Pharisee, man named Nicodemus, who was a Jewish ruler at that. And he came to Jesus under the cover of night. He came with hesitation, perhaps wrestling with doubts or societal expectations, even as he acknowledged Jesus as a legit rabbi from God. But he could not make sense of this man who was so ordinary and by no means of the ruling class of the Jews, yet he wields so much power and charisma that Nicodemus is drawn to him. Nicodemus questioned, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he actually enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? This question echoes a universal longing, the desire for a transformed, empowered, and joyful life that doesn't wither or fade through time. This question resonates with the quiet questions and uncertainties many of our friends might harbor. The beauty of this passage lies in the, in the response that God gives, spoken through Jesus as immortalized in arguably the most quoted passage in Scripture that we have come to love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. And if you wondered, how do we live this life of bliss and fulfillment forever, given the reality of impending death and uh, suffering that looms over us all? The answer is in this passage. Eternal life is granted to whoever, anyone who believes, anyone at all, doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor, a multimillionaire influencer or someone outside social media, young or old, in high positions or an outcast, a tycoon or jobless, a superior athlete or someone who is very sickly, you know, sinner or pure person, prisoner or free, none of that matters at all. Zilch, as Ephesians remind us, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So, you want to live forever? You want to conquer death, sin, and the flesh? The devil and eternal anguish? There is but one answer. One simple answer to end all questions. One. And that is believe which means submit, surrender your life to Him, and live in free obedience to His truth. But believe in who? <laughs> in Jesus, of course, the only begotten Son of the Father, in eternal communion of love and obedience to the Father in the Holy Spirit. He is the uncreated Son, eternally begotten of the Father, for the Father exists only in so far as the Son exists. For there is no father without the son. <laughs> Got that? <laughs> now, in what manner are we to believe in Jesus? Many people believe in Jesus as teacher, as prophet, as healer, etc., etc. Even the Muslims believe in Jesus. And the Jews revere him as rabbi. Throughout Jesus' ministry, his mission was to reveal the Father's love through his teachings, acts of mercy, including healings. Now, it's easy to believe in Jesus when we are witnessing his healings and miracles. And after being full of the bread and fish that he multiplies. But you know, John 3 declares, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. We are all invited to look to and believe the man who is raised before us, before all of us, on the cross. Because the cross 
is where God reveals the perfect expression of His love to humankind. Ironically, it is also most difficult to associate the most tortuous form of death to the perfection of God's love. But that is what we are called to believe, that the Father spared no expense and was willing to give up His most precious one for all of us. The great thing is that um, the Father desires not our condemnation but salvation. Okay? That Jesus' answer to our uh, question unlocks a transformative truth. That faith is the key to stepping out of darkness and into the light. So today, brothers and sisters, let us be the bridge, the welcoming light that invites our friends to explore the transformative power of Jesus. We can use any encounter to be empowered by and oriented to God's love, whether it is a conversation, a game, a fellowship, a discussion group, or even a friendly gathering. Okay? Let us remember that Jesus welcomes all who seek him, regardless of their initial reservations. Let's share this message of love and hope with courage and watch as our friends like Nicodemus embrace the transformative power of Jesus' life. And as we end, please reflect on these two questions. Who does God want me to relate with so he can experience God's love? And how can I serve this person in a way that truly glorifies God? So, brothers and sisters, have a blessed Lenten season as we approach the Holy Week, the holiest of all Holy Weeks. And do share this video to bless others with God's love. God bless you all. Bye-bye.